welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Robin, I run a holistic beauty blog called Behold and in this space we're all about feeling beautiful from inside out. So as you can see by the title, in this video I'm going to be reviewing another natural hair gadget or natural hair tool, whatever you call it, the portable hair dryer. Last week I did the tangle teaser and next week I'm taking a break from the hair gadgets and I'm going to be sharing an interesting video with you. Watch to the end to see what that is. So I got this hair dryer on Amazon. It was 250 Rand including the shipping costs and on take a lot it was 289 excluding the shipping costs. With take a lot the delivery date is maybe like three or four days later and with Amazon it was estimated that I would receive it in a month but it took two weeks to get here which I was really impressed by but let me not talk too much and get into the review so as you can see I've already twisted my hair 30% dry but I want to ensure that my hair is 100% dry because the minute I step outside and there is still a little bit of damp hair my hair is going to frizz. So I'm using a cheap hair dryer that I bought at Clicks. It was about a hundred rand at the time that I bought it. Um, this is Sultan, Sultan hair dryer. And as you can see, it's not on the nozzle because I'm going to be using the portable hooded hair dryer. And this is what it looks like. So here is where my head goes and you can tie this so that it's tight and it doesn't come off and then this is the section it's quite long here is where all the air goes through and is blown out um, to ensure that your hair gets dry there are tiny little holes to allow the air to come out and an elastic is placed on the end so that the hair dryer can fit in here so i'm just gonna put the hair dryer in here Okay, okay, there we go. After like a five minute struggle. I'm gonna make sure that all my hair is locked inside. There's also a drawstring here on the side so that you can pull it tightly around your head. make sure that it's tight and I don't think it's necessary for me to tie this but what the hell I'm gonna tie it anyway it's 318 now this is on low heat it's been 20 minutes now so I'm hoping that my hair is dry, even though it was on the lowest heat. In fact, this hair dryer is not that advanced, so there's only two heat settings. Okay. So the back of my hair is completely, completely dry. Um, the front sections also seem to be dry. But these two parts are still like a little questionable. So I'm going to do it for five more minutes because I think that's all it needs. Oh, amazing! Okay, cool. So my hair is 100% dry now and it took 25 minutes to dry. I was able to occupy my time with some YouTube videos. And the cool thing about this is that you don't also need to worry about um, the heat hurting your hair because everything is evenly distributed and if you do have a hair dryer that has a cool setting, then definitely use that cool setting. Um, but like I said, with my Sultan cheapy hair dryer, I used the lowest setting, yeah, which was medium heat, and my hair's dry in 25 minutes. So maybe if your hair dryer is more advanced, it'll take a much shorter time. Hotels normally have these hair dryers, and I'm able to fold this up so easily. I'm 
show you. I can fold it up so easily and just put it in my bag. And there I have it when I'm traveling my hair sorted. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in my next one. I can already tell you that my next video is going to be an Afrikaans hair tutorial and it was inspired by a natural hair blogger called Eleanor Jadot. If you want to see that video then definitely subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified when I upload it automatically and I will see you in my next one.